안녕하세요. 안차키입니다. It only seems like yesterday that we started off our Let's Speak Korean lessons. But this, can you believe it, is already the 101st edition of Let's Speak Korean. Well, as we say, time flies when you're having fun. Well, now let's say hello to Ji Seung-yeon 선생님, who is here as usual with us. 안녕하세요, 선생님. 안녕하세요. 안녕하세요, 지 승현입니다. 101번째 만나서 정말 반갑습니다. It's very nice to have you again. If you recall, we have learned expressions to indicate our guess about something in the question form. For instance, will it rain today? Now, how would we say this, 선생님? We say, 오늘 비가 올까요? But what if we want to go a little further to ask, for instance, that if it doesn't rain, how should we get to the riverside? Well, that is what exactly what we are going to be learning in this lesson. So let's watch the clip now. Thank Michael is at the bank to open an account. Now, there are certain things that we need to open an account. The bank employee tells him to write down his name, address, his personal identification number, and he tells him to sign it. Michael wants to pay his phone bill and ask some questions. The bank employee tells him to go to window number five if he wants to pay his phone bill. All right, then, let's get a check of the expressions in this lesson. We'll learn how to assume the purpose of certain actions by stating the verb stem plus ryeomyeon. Let's start off by going over some new vocabulary that we will need to learn those expressions. Please listen carefully to 선생님. 통장을 만들다 통장을 만들다 전화요금을 내다 전화요금을 내다 돈을 찾다, 돈을 찾다, 저금하다, 저금하다. All you have to do is attach the phrase 의려면 to the words we have just learned to come up with assumptions about certain actions or intentions. All right, then let's take a look at how they are being used in the clip. The bank employee tells Michael that if he wants to open an account, he has to write down his name, his address, and his personal identification number. How did he say this? 통장을 만들려면 여기에 이름하고 주소, 비밀번호를 써 주십시오. When Michael says that he wants to pay his phone bill, the bank teller tells him to go to window number 5 to pay his phone bill. Now, how did he say this in Korean? 전화 요금을 내려면 5번 창구로 가십시오. There is a common factor in the two sentences that we just looked at. They are the expressions 만들려면 uh, and 내려면. 선생님, mm -hmm. when should we use these two expressions? Well, you may remember that uh, we have learned the expression 의려고 하다 to indicate our intention. Yes, in fact, I remember. You're talking about expressions such as 점심을 먹으려고 식당에 가다. Am I right? 
Yes, that's right. But instead of using uh, the expression 우려고 하다 to end with a sentence, replace it with 우면, the expression 우면. When we do this, it turns into an assumption about an intention. In other words, we end up with a sentence that indicates that what must be done. Uh, this is a condition attached to an action. And the key word that adds this meaning is the word myon. Mm -hmm, that's correct. Since this is an expression about an intention, it can only be attached to a verb stem. When the stem ends in a consonant, attach the expression 우려면. And when it ends in a vowel sound, add the expression 려면. The only thing is when the stem ends in a consonant, 리을, we have to attach the expression 려면 as we do for stems that ends in a vowel sounds. We should remember this. Well then, let's try adding the expressions 의려면 and 려면 to the words that we learned earlier. Just leave the stem of the word on the left and attach 려면 or 의려면. Let's try reading it together. 통장을 만들다. 통장을 만들려면. 전화 요금을 내다. 전화 요금을 내려면. 돈을 찾다. 돈을 찾으려면. 저금하다. 저금하려면. Let's try our hand at some complete sentences now. Don't forget to follow along with something new. 통장을 만들려면 저쪽으로 가십시오. 전화 요금을 내려면 5번 창구로 가십시오. 돈을 찾으려면 여기에 이름을 쓰세요. 저금하려면 통장을 만드세요. It's time for some extra expressions. Let's take a closer look at some new words that we ran across in this lesson. The bank employee tells Michael to write down his name, address, and personal identification number, and also to sign it if he wants to open an account. So, mm -hmm. what are the Korean words for address, personal identification number, and um, the word to sign? Mm -hmm. The word for address is 주소, 주소. And the personal identification number is 비밀번호. 비밀번호. And the word for to sign is 사인하다. 사인하다. 사인하다 actually sounds very much like the English word. Mm -hmm. Yes, you are right. Well, actually, it does come from the English word, but we have adapted it by adding on the Korean word ending. So uh, it is the English word sign plus uh, the Korean for to do. Hada, so it become sign hada. I see. Mm -hmm. Now there were some other new words that we came across in this lesson, right? Now Michael is told to go to window number five if he wants to pay his phone bill. Now we ran across the Korean word for window, which is changu. Well, this is a word that pops up often at the bank and the post office, railway station, or subway station. When you're buying tickets at the railway station, for instance, you get your ticket through a little opening. Right? So that's how we came up with the word. Right. All right. Well, it is time to wrap up what we have learned up to this point. Let's go over the expressions one by one along with the clip. <laughs> Tongjangle만들려고하는데요.
통장을 만들려면 여기에 이름하고 주소, 비밀번호를 써 주십시오. 전화요금을 내려면 5번 창구로 가십시오. 전화요금을 내려면 5번 창구로 가십시오. 실례합니다. 통장을 만들려고 하는데요. 아, 통장을 만들려면 저쪽으로 가십시오. 네, 감사합니다. 어떻게 오셨습니까? 통장을 만들려고 하는데요. 통장을 만들려면 여기에 이름하고 주소, 비밀번호를 써주십시오. 그리고 사인을 해주십시오. 여기에서 전화요금을 낼수 있어요? 전화요금을 내려면 5번 창구로 가십시오. 네, 감사합니다. 파리로 which is 8 period 15 ask any korean and they should know that this refers to liberation day 파리로 파리로 please note that this date is not read as 85 it's a completely different pronunciation that we have to use here now if we read the numbers separately they would sound like 815 Right? But when the numbers come right after another, we have to um, use another method and we read it as 파리로. 선생님, there seems to be quite a number of cases when we have to apply this rule. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's especially so when we are talking about signif uh, significant dates in history. The numbers are actually used instead of the name for the day. It's the same for June 25th. We use this to refer to Korean word as it is the day that the word broke out. When yu e o is read together, we end up with yu gi o. We'll have to remember that. All right then, let's take another listen to an accurate pronunciation. Pariro. Pariro. Yu gi o. 유기오. Well, we've run out of time on this edition, I'm afraid, but we will be back with another fun and interesting lesson next time. So until then, 안녕히 계세요.